All right, the last topic I want to talk about in the npm beginner series is about scripts. Now when we run the command npm init y, it gives us a package.json file with some scripts. Now this contains a simple test script that just echoes onto the console that no test is specified. Now this is not so useful. So let's create a simple script that is going to start a simple node application. Now I have created app.js which is our simple node application and it is just going to log to the console npm script test. Now basically what we would do is execute node and then app.js to run the application. So this is going to log to the console npm script test. So let's write a script that is going to do this for us. So I'm going to go back to package.json and I'm going to replace this test with start. And what are we going to do? We are going to execute node app.js. So when I save this and go back to command prompt, I can type npm start and this in turn is going to run node app.js and hence we have npm script test logged to the console. Now this comes in really handy when you are developing projects and let's say you have created a project and the entry point for the project is app.js. So someone downloads your project from GitHub and they run node app.js. But later on you decide that the entry point is going to be index.js. Now the user doesn't know this and when he gets the latest version and runs the command node app.js, he's going to get an error. So by having a start command, the user doesn't have to worry about what command to run when you make changes. So all they have to worry about is executing npm start and that in turn is going to execute the appropriate command to start the application. And in fact, if you have a look at Angular 2 code, this is the quick start application. So they have scripts and they have a start script as well. So when I run npm start, it is going to start the TypeScript compiler in watch mode and also run the npm light server. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's basically how you write scripts. And that's pretty much what I want to cover in the NPM beginner series. So hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, take care.